There are a number of challenges in coaching our sport of track and field. My name is Travis Geffert, and I've been very fortunate in that our sport of track and field has taken me all over the world. One thing remains consistent. Track and field coaches around the world are outnumbered. Oftentimes you have one to three coaches for maybe 25 to 50 athletes at all levels, high school, junior high, age group, club level track. How do we go about combating that problem? Well, I think we all know as track and field coaches, we have to be organized and efficient before we even step foot on the track. I think that there's three things that you can do to help you be a successful track and field coach. If you can accomplish these three tasks, you're gonna have success on the track. Number one, create groups. Number two, create workouts. And number three, create goals. How do we go about that daunting task? All right, let's start with number one. You can create groups as general or as specific as you would like. Maybe you have a group of jumpers and sprinters and short hurdlers all in group one. In group two, you would have your long sprinters and your long hurdlers. And then maybe in group three, you have your 800 meter runners and up. Or should we get more specific? Maybe you're a sprints coach out there that you have a large group of sprinters and you have a group of sprinters and jumpers that could all run between 22 and 23 seconds in the 200. Maybe they're in group one. The athletes between 23 and 24 seconds are in group two. In group three, the athletes are between 25 and 26, maybe your younger athletes. You can make these groups as general or as specific as you like at any level of track and field. Number two, create workouts. Try to create workouts though where maybe you're not doing the same things for all of your athletes, but you're at least in the same place at the same time. That way you as a coach can keep an eye on everyone. For example, maybe you have an interval workout day in your general conditioning cycle where your 800, 1600, and 3200 meter runners are all running 10 300s with three minutes rest. Your long sprints group and long hurdlers are running six 300s with three minutes rest. Then your short sprinters are maybe running four 300s in their general conditioning cycle. And maybe your jumpers are running four 200s. That way you can keep an eye on everybody at the same time, keep the interval going, and have a good finger on the pulse of everything that everyone is doing. Then on specific technical days, maybe your athletes are, your sprinters are doing block starts, your hurdlers are doing hurdle starts, and your jumpers are doing approach work. They're training the same energy systems, but getting specific event work in for what they need to accomplish. Number three, the most challenging part, creating goals. Creating goals specific to each event group that you're coaching. One thing you don't wanna do is for example, have a freshman girl that let's say is trying to run 65 seconds for the first time in a 400 meters, doing the exact same workouts that your superstar senior is trying to do to break the school record of 56.9 in the 400. Those two athletes shouldn't be doing the exact same workouts. You need to challenge that senior and still encourage that freshman to meet the goals and have success along the way. One thing that we've done at TrackWired is try to create programs that can accomplish all of these tasks. We have workouts that are synced up with one another. So you can coach a large or a different number of events basically at the same time. So you have your athletes in your distance group, your long sprints group, your short sprints group, your jumpers group, even your throwers, all doing similar things at the same time, but yet doing workouts that are specific to what they need to accomplish in their events. Secondly, our TrackWired programs allow you to create specific goals. When you purchase a TrackWired training program, you keep that training program forever and you can download that into your personal training calendar as many times as you would like, and you can change the goal. So let's say you have a short sprints workout for that sprinters group that we talked about with a goal time of 22 flat. You can have three or four athletes in that group. You can import that same program again 
with a time of let's say 24 flat for your younger athletes. Both groups are training specific to their goals. You're challenging your more advanced runners and yet continually encouraging your athletes that are developing in our sport. Those 400 meter girls, for example, you can type in 60 flat for a group of girls that run anywhere between 61 and 64 or 65 currently. And you can type in that specific 56.92 goal for your athlete that's trying to break the school record and have those other girls that are running in that 57 to 58 second range train right along with her. Our goal at TrackWired has been to create a program that can help all levels of track and field. We want to encourage coaches, we want to encourage athletes to get out there and do training that's going to help them continually develop in our sport. As these younger athletes have success along the way, they're going to continue with it. They're going to stick with it and they're going to help the sport of track and field evolve over time. We all know that coaching track and field is always going to be a challenge. We really hope that TrackWired can make it a little bit easier for all of us coaches, athletes, and parents out there. So we encourage you to go check us out, tell us what you think, and we hope that we can help you develop and get better in all your track and field goals.